Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. If you've never seen my face before, then hi, I am Kat and this is my YouTube channel. Uh, if you have seen my face before, then welcome back and thank you for coming again. A couple of things that I want to get out of the way before I get into the video. The first is I apologise for the lighting. It is horrendous. It's just been grey and dismal outside for the last like three weeks. And there's just no other way to, for me to get any kind of natural light. And this is the best I can do. So I apologise for that. Uh, the second thing I want to apologise for is that this is the first time that I've actually worn... Um, false eyelashes in a video I think ever and it's probably the third or fourth time that I've worn them ever anyway so if they look like they're gonna flip off it's probably because they are so again if that happens I'm sorry um, now that we've got past those two things I'd like to just jump straight into the video um, my last Primark haul that I did was actually incredibly successful for such a small youtuber I think the head the count was like 780 odd views or something. I'm gonna link it up top here so if you want to check it out then just click that little info button and it should come up. Um, but I was just so shocked at the um, reception that that video got that I've been dying to do another Primark video since. We went to Primark yesterday and I dragged Nathan around the shops and I'm sorry Nathan but I did manage to get some awesome things because they've got all of their new spring stuff in, which is absolutely stunning, I have to say. So I'm just gonna dive straight in and show you what I got. This jumpsuit. So you've got, so the top half is kind of like a flange V neck line, and it's got these nice little sleeves here. It's got this be these beautiful flowers all over them. I'm really, really getting into yellow and orange and like burgundy, all of these kind of autumnal summery colours. They're three quarter length trousers sort of thing. So, and they've got a nice little elasticated waist with a wrap that goes around. Um, it really, really caught my eye for the pattern and the colours. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's gonna be stunning for springtime. The next thing I want to show you um, really, really caught my eye because of the, not so much the pattern, but the design of the bag reminded me a lot of the Gucci bags that have come out recently in the last year. So it's got this little twisty buckle at the front and you flip it open and there's no compartments or anything. It's just a very, it's just an open bag and it comes with a really nice gold chain, which is a decent length. So it's not too long, but it's also not short so that you've got it all the way up here. So it's really, really nice and it's very spacious, so you can fit lots of things in it, which is exactly what I was after. Um, and I kind of just wanted some more fashion bags as opposed to useful bags, because I, I tend to, I'm the sort of person that has one handbag and I will use it and use it and use it and use it until I cannot use it anymore. Um, but I wanted some more that I could just mix and match with certain outfits because I'm getting into my fashion now. So I was really, I really just wanted like a couple of bags that were gonna sort of be almost like a part of the outfit and really like statement. So this was the first one that I picked up. The next dress I want to show you, it's inside out because I've already worn it, <laughs> um, it's really really beautiful. They had loads of these uh, dresses actually, but this was the design I liked the most. Um, and it's got these vertical stripes, and at the bottom, if you can see here, it's got almost like these little holes, um, and it's, it's the trim that only goes around the front, so you don't have to worry about you know, having to protect your modesty or anything. So um, love, love, love this dress. And I paired it yesterday with a with a little belt because uh, the trouble is, is, especially if you're a larger girl like me, you put something like this on because it feels comfortable, but then you just end up looking like you're wearing a tent. Um, so I paired it with a teeny little belt just around the waist and it looked absolutely gorgeous and it can either hang off the shoulders, well I say hang off, it can sit on the shoulders um, or you can just have it sort of like hanging and I had it hanging and I think it looked really really nice like that. Um, and again you've got the same detail around the sleeves. Oh, this I was really excited about. This is actually the thing that made me go into Primark in the first place because um, I saw it in the window and I thought, a fake leather jacket for 13 euros, what? So I was straight in there 
and I absolutely love this jacket. It fits really, really nicely, and it doesn't have too many buckles or anything. There was there was one that had lots of buckles and zips and everything like that, which is great. I'm well into that, but I just wanted something a little bit more plain. And don't get me wrong, the material is it's it is what it is. It's 13 euros. It's a 13 euro leather jacket. It's not going to be leather. It's nothing like that. So very plain sleeves. Couple of little buttons couple of little details, one zip up the side, couple of zip pockets, and that's it. That's all you need. Going back to what I was saying before about wanting um, a few different bags, um, I found this little baby. I absolutely love this, and it's so tiny that I'm not gonna, probably not going to be able to fit a lot in it. So it comes, it's got these two poppers, and that's how it's closed. And it does have a long strap which does seem to be quite long and it's readjustable as well so you can have it as long as sh or as short as you like and inside again like I say it's not very spacious at all you're not going to fit a lot in there but it does have a little zip compartment if you want any if you want to keep anything separate like for example your money you can put your money directly in there and then just have this part for your phone and your lipstick or something like that um, so I really love this and to be honest if it, I think this was only four euro oh I've still got the thing on it um, it was only four euros, so I mean that's that to me is a perfect addition and a perfect sort of detail for an outfit that's going to look really really awesome. And I can't tell you how much I'm getting into yellow at the moment, which is absolutely bizarre. I've always worn black, 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 black. That's it. Nothing else. Black, maybe some grey added in there, like grey if I was feeling adventurous sort of thing. But um, over the years I've sort of become a little bit more adventurous with my colours that I'm wearing. But never in a million years would I have been seen dead in yellow. So this is a hell of a step for me. Next thing I got might be a little bit too much information for you, but I don't care because I think they're really, really pretty. Um, I actually got this beautiful, beautiful bralette and brief set um, in this kind of mint or dulled mint colour. Um, there's no straps, sorry, not straps, uh, there's no clips or anything on it, so you don't, it's literally just a slip on and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I just love the shape of it, I love the trim, I love the colour, and I think for the whole, oh yes, for the whole set it was only seven euros, which I think is a really good bargain. Um, I love it, I absolutely love it. Can't wait to put it on. Last but not least, I did something that I never really do in Primark, and that's I bought a pair of shoes. Um, mostly because with some of the things that I bought already, I actually found that I was creating almost a bit of an outfit. So I just bought these bog standard pump-like things. I was trying to find a pair of Converse-like ones, as you know that they do in Primark. But um, they had the blue ones in my size, because uh, I've got massive clown feet. But they didn't have the black ones, like the Converse, in my size. So I ended up with these pump-like things. And to be honest with you, they do seem really, really good quality for the three euros that I paid for them. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button down the bottom there and the little bell icon that will notify you every time I upload a new video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye!